Mel joins us now from Oakmont with more on the U.S. Women's Open. And Randall, Paula Creamer said she's feeling better physically, but what about the mental scars that this event has caused her in the past? Right, uh, Scott. Her uh, thumb reconstruction has been well documented, but there's, uh, there's other injuries for her to overcome. Uh, uh, Paula Kramer has won eight LPGA titles in her career. She's only 23, but she's asked at every major about her failures in the major, her inability to win a major yet. She handles it very well, but she's been asked this week about what happened at Saucon Valley last year. Uh, she had a great chance there going into the third round. She was battling Christy Kerr for the lead, and she had shot that 79 with the triple bogey 7 at the 10th hole. Uh, a debacle there so there, there's more than the physical injuries for Paula to deal with this week. Uh, Michelle Wee's in, in the same boat a little bit she's had her ups and downs in the US Open and she hasn't won since uh, she won in 2009. Uh, what does she think about her prospects this year? Yeah you know this championship sort of embodies uh, what's happened in Michelle's career, career almost uh, mirrors it in 06 at Newport Country Club she tied for third really had a chance to win that event at 16 years old and then last year she didn't even qualify for it but she's back she's back uh, with the confidence of having broke broken through to win an LPGA event late last year being ranked 10th in the world her swing coach David Ledbetter uh, thinks she has a big advantage in here in that she hits a, a high fade which will help her attack these greens however skeptics will scoff because this is Oakmont and you have to be a terrific putter to win here and that's not Michelle's strength well, we'll see what happens with Michelle Wee this week, and Randall Mel will be there all week to let us know what's going on. Randall, thank you very much. Now, many LPGA players have made trips to Oakmont in advance of the U.S. Women's Open. Natalie Gulbis was one of those who made a scouting trip. Gulbis will be a guest on the Grey Goose 19th hole, and she was barely able to hide her excitement for playing the venue and the difficult challenge ahead. Part of the excitement of playing at Oakmont is that we've seen these great players over the years struggle on this golf course and also had success when they were able to hit really good shots and that's part of the fun and part of the tradition and what makes Oakmont so much of an opportunity for us to, uh, to go out and have a good week. I've seen everything from 10 to double digit over par. Um, if they don't get any rain and there's no storms that come in, it's going to play fast and firm, which these greens are really quick.